Do you want this Y-shake transition so your edits could stop looking bold as fuck? By the way, if you would like to learn how to make an X shake to go along with it, click the video card above after you're done with this video. After you've added all your adjustments and pre-composed all your clips, and as you can see today, I am editing Thor from The Walking Dead. Such a great show, but we're getting off topic. Let's start adding effects. Begin by going to the Effects and Presets panel and searching Splur Mo Curves and apply it to your clip. Next, go to this Warp X and change the drop-down selection to Reflect. Basically, this makes it have a built-in motion blur so we won't have to add it later. Sweet, right? Next, make sure to be at the beginning of your clip and click the stopwatch for Shift Y and change the value to 160. Next, go forward two keyframes. To do that, hold the control and click the right arrow and change the value to 580. Now go forward six keyframes and put the amount to 60. Let's jump another 8 keyframes and change the value to 20. And finally, go down another 8 keyframes and change the value to 0. Go ahead and preview it. Looks pretty smooth to me. Next, go ahead and add the effect BCC Directional Blur to your clip. Let's get started by changing the angle to 0. And next, click the stopwatch for the amount and change the value to 150. Next, select your clip and click U on your keyboard to show all the keyframes. Go to the last keyframe you can see and change that directional blur amount to zero. Now, if you preview it, you see it looks a little too bold. To fix that, select both keyframes and click F9 on your keyboard to easy ease. Next, select one keyframe and click the graph icon. From here, copy what I do with these two yellow lines. Now that we are done with the graph, click on the icon again to close it. Last but not least, let's add one more effect to make it stand out even more. Go to the effects and presets and search up brightness and contrast, then drop it to your clip. Once done, go to the beginning of UR click and click the stopwatch for brightness and change the value to 130. Next, go all the way to the end of your clip and change the brightness to zero. Now from here, you can preview it and it looks very smooth now. To get this on all of your clips, select the clip and click E on your keyboard. Next, select all the effects and click Control plus C. Now select and go to the beginning of your next clip and click Control plus V to paste it. Now wait, wait, wait. You can't be done with your edit without a sexy looking color correction. If you're a true beginner and don't know where to start, click on the video card above to see my video on how to make a basic 4K color correction but today I am going to use one of my personal color corrections. I'm going to make an adjustment layer to apply it to. Then I am going to use my evil CC and apply it to my adjustment layer. Psst. You can find that in the link in the description. Now, cause it looks a little too strong on these specific clips, I decided to turn the opacity of the adjustment to 60 so it looks just right. And just like that, we made a clean Y transition. Make sure to subscribe and like if this helped, join my Discord server in the description for